Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Tonight, during the Holy Easter Vigil, we celebrate, the greatest event in human history, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we reflect on the Gospel reading, from Matthew 28 1-10, we are reminded of the magnitude of this event, and the hope that it brings to our lives. In the Gospel passage, we see that the women who had followed Jesus, went to the tomb early in the morning, to anoint his body with spices. However, they were met with an incredible sight, the stone had been rolled away from the tomb, and an angel of the Lord was sitting on it. The angel told them, not to be afraid, for, Jesus had risen from the dead, just as he had said he would. This news was nothing short of miraculous. The disciples had witnessed their Lord's brutal crucifixion just a few days earlier, and they had been left in despair, and confusion. But now, the angel was telling them that Jesus is alive again. This was a moment of great joy, and hope for the disciples, and for us too. The resurrection of Jesus, is the cornerstone of our faith. It is what sets Christianity apart, from all other religions. It is the proof that Jesus is, who he claimed to be, the Son of God and the Messiah. It is the ultimate display of God's power and love, for he conquered death itself in order to save us from our sins. But the resurrection is not just a historical event that happened 2000 years ago. It is something, that has the power to transform our lives today. It gives us hope in the face of death, for we know that, we too will rise again to eternal life with Christ. It gives us strength to face the trials of this world, for we know that God is with us always. And it gives us joy, for we know that our sins are forgiven, and we have been reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Easter Vigil, let us rejoice in the resurrection of our Lord. Let us give thanks to God, for the gift of eternal life that He has given us through Jesus Christ. And let us go forth from this place with renewed faith, hope, and love, knowing that we are truly blessed to be called children of God. May the peace and joy of the risen Christ be with you all. Amen.